everybody. It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. And what I'm going to do is show you how do you use the touch sensor as an activation mechanism or a trigger. Um, my students are involved in a project where it's really hard to sometimes touch the motor control buttons or it's hard to touch the middle button on their uh, EV3 brick. So uh, here's a way to show you how to use the touch sensor as a trigger so I can stand maybe not so far away, or I can just use it as a trigger. So let's go first to the programming it, and then we'll actually show you how it works, okay? Okay, I've opened up my Lego uh, software here, and I'm gonna go up here and I'm going to create a new project. I'm gonna first go to the flow control or the orange tab. I'm gonna pull out a weight block. I'm going to click right here and make sure it says touch sensor compare state. Then I'm going to go to my sensor blocks and pull out my touch sensor. Same thing, make sure it says compare state. And then lastly, I'm going to go to my motor blocks, pull out my move tank block, place it here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, connect this equal sign. I'm going to connect a data wire from the equal sign to the check mark. And um, I'm going to set this at, it depends on how your arm is on your launcher. Uh, it can be, uh, could be positive 100 or it could be negative. You're going to have to just play with the numbers and if you're if you have it have a negative and nothing happens, you'll have to set it to positive. And then I tell my students to put it on for time. And most of my students are putting it in anywhere from between 0.3 to 0.4. So I'm going to put it at 0.35. And then I tell my students to kind of experiment. And if it's holding on to whatever they're launching too long, to shorten the time. If it's letting go too early, to lengthen the time. So that's basically the program for using the touch sensor as a trigger. So let's go ahead and see it in action. Okay, so you've already seen the program for how to use your touch sensor as a trigger. So let's go ahead and see it in action. So what you're seeing before you is the robot, the touch sensor. What I hope to do is launch this projectile over the tissue boxes and knock over as many cups as I can. So let me see if I can get this into the picture as well. All I have to do is press this and I got to make sure I keep it straight. And here we go. So there you go. That is how you use the touch sensor as an activation or trigger mechanism. Thanks for watching and I will see you. Bye.